Let's take a look at the Appointment Book Pro. This is the version of the Appointment Book that I highly recommend. I'll show you some of the key features in the Pro version of the Appointment Book. Just like the basic version, if you have the Advanced or the Appointment Book Pro, the top of your screen, this dark blue menu is always there at the top of the screen, so you can always get to your Appointment Book Pro. To do so, just click on Scheduler, and boom, there you are looking at your appointments for today. The first thing I'd like to show you is tracking no-shows. Like any typical dental office, uh, it would be wonderful if your patients came every time and respected their appointments, but people being pe people, oftentimes, uh, they, they don't attend their appointments. They miss, right? <laughs> and so we have a wonderful feature from within Denimax uh, called the uh, no-show tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Julie Anderson's record. We will right-click on it. We have several statuses we can select from. So if Julie Anderson does not show up for her appointment, I can go ahead and click on Missed Appointment. When I do that, a little screen pops up and says, Hey, Julie missed her appointment. We want a reason for that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in why she didn't show up. You know what? She didn't call. So did not call, uh, no notice, you know, nothing. We don't know why she didn't show up. Go ahead and click on OK. What this will do is it will mark Julie Anderson so that the next time she tries to make an appointment with our practice, let's say we'll go to the 30th here, okay? We'll double click here and we'll type in Anderson for Julie. And there she is. And a little pop up will appear. It'll say, hey, Julie Anderson has missed one previous appointment. More information, click here. And if she had missed several, it'd list them all. You know, it might list, she's missed five appointments. <laughs> and in here, it will tell me what she missed, uh, the day she missed it, the time she missed it, the length. You know, I have a 75 minute hole in my schedule because of her. Here's the note that I have here. Uh, the provider that was supposed to see her, the amount of dollars, $76. Thank goodness it wasn't a, a root canal or a three unit bridge or something. The procedures, so forth. So, wonderful, wonderful way of keeping track of patients who missed appointments. Not only do you see this when you try to make another appointment for that patient, but let's go ahead and go to her patient record. I'll go ahead, we'll right click on her appointment, we'll click on View Patient Information. And from here, you can see the patient's wanted poster. There's her picture. It will tell you how many times she missed her appointment, the last time she missed, and what, uh, you know, what the status was, your notes that you put in for why she missed that appointment. And if you click on the total here, it will show you all the times that she missed with the details that correspond to it. Great, wonderful tool to track patients who chronically miss appointments. Another powerful thing within the Appointment Book Pro is the ability to put patients on will call. call. Sometimes patients are responsible. <laughs> they call, you know, and they say, hey, I can't come today or tomorrow or next week, and I can't reschedule at this time. I'll call you back. And oftentimes, their lives, they get busy and they don't call back. So within Dynamax, we can track this a little easier. And so in this case, let's say that Julie does call us. We can right-click on her appointment and change her status to will call. What that will do, that will remove her appointment. Now, later on, maybe we have lots of patients who have called in. We put them all on will call status. We'll go to list. We'll go down to will call appointments. And we'll see right here, Julie Anderson's on the list. So we can go ahead, call Julie, and go ahead and reschedule her for a new time slot that works for her. Let's go ahead and create a new template. To do this, we'll go ahead and click on template mode here at the bottom right hand of your screen, template mode. All of our appointments disappear because now we're not in the appointment screen really anymore. We're in the template mode and we'll create a new template. We have lunches already carved out. Um, let's say that uh, our hygienist doesn't come in until 10 o'clock when we work on Saturday. So we'll go ahead and double click here and we'll say uh, late start for, for hygiene. Okay. And we'll go ahead and say all right. We'll make that uh, maybe 120 minutes. And uh, we'll assign that to the hygienist, uh, Renee Wilson, even if you'd like. We can give it a color. We'll make it, uh, let's see, medium gray because we're blocking that out. And let's see, even on top of that, let's say it's every Saturday, right? So we'll go to weekly, and every Saturday we'll have that blocked out. We'll click on OK. We'll click on Save Changes. And we'll go out of our template mode. And just like that, we go to our Saturdays in the future. They're going to be blocked out for a hygienist. She doesn't come in until 10 o'clock. So we have a template for blocking out that time. Powerful tool, easy to create, wonderful to use. Keeps your schedule organized. 
Another thing that you can do is you can create what we call your own views. In this case, I have um, my view is showing my dental chairs or my operatories. I have three of them in my practice. We have operatory one, two, and our hygienist chair or her operatory. Um, if you have multiple doctors, uh, uh, hygienists, maybe even multiple practices with the online version of the software, you might want to have different views. They're easy to create. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll click on uh, resources here and we will select a hygiene view. Okay, they're easy to create and once you create one, when you select it, in this case, the hygienist wants to see her appointments by themselves. We'll click on hygiene. Boom, all the other appointments go away. I'm just looking at my hygienist appointments here. Very useful tool for your providers or even for your front desk that are having to schedule appointments for a particular provider. Um, not only can you view different views um, by provider, but you can view them by, by week or month. So here is the daily view, We're looking at the 28th. Maybe I want to see a whole week. So down here in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I could click on week view and boom, there we are looking at our week view. We've got my office. We're open Monday through Thursday, then on Saturdays. Go figure, right? <laughs> and so here's our hygienist view. We're viewing that by week. And we'll go ahead and we'll go in the monthly view. We can see I don't have a lot of data in my demo, but on the 28th, we have three appointments scheduled. And we can even see our lunch schedules here. And uh, I think even our late starts are appearing here on the 9th. 16th, 23rd, so forth. So, wonderful view. Uh, from within these views, you can send email reminders. So, let's say maybe I want to go ahead and remind everybody uh, of this week that uh, they have an appointment. So, I can right click in that view and say, hey, I'm going to send everybody in this view an email reminder uh, that they have an appointment. Okay, we'll say OK. We'll list all the patients who have an appointment. You can go ahead and deselect the patients that you don't want to receive an email. And once you have the right uh, patients there, We'll go ahead and click on send. The program will send your unique customized note to all those patients, reminding them of their appointments for their appropriate times. Wonderful tool included with the software, super easy to use. Another neat thing in the program is that you can create financial goals in the Appointment Book Pro. Okay, so this kind of adds on to the revenue ability of the basic version of the Appointment Book. But in advance, we can go ahead and select our day, right click on that day, and click on Set daily goal to create a goal. You can create three goals. You can create one for your scheduled charges. And so uh, maybe I want to go ahead and put $3,000 there. I want my front desk people to schedule over $3,000 worth of work, <laughs> worth of procedures on my Saturdays, if I'm going to come in on a Saturday. Uh, post to charges. This is work that I complete. Maybe I know that some of those patients might not show up. And so I want to complete $2,500 worth of work on that day and then post a payment is actual cash flow. Maybe I'll make a goal of $1,500. I want to collect $1,500 worth of uh, payments, actual cash flow on that day. If I click on save, uh, what will happen on the 28th here, it's showing my goal is $3,000 and I quite haven't made it and so it shows it in yellow. Had I made it, the whole line would be complete and in green, in this case, it's almost complete so it shows the status in yellow. If it was less than half, it would show in red. And so we both we have a goal for our scheduled production of $3,000, our posted charges of uh, $2,500. It's less than half, so it's showing how much in red. And posted payments, uh, I don't think we have anything, so it shows a little blip there in red. So wonderful way to start your day, maybe perhaps with a, with a morning huddle with your staff. You can create goals uh, for that month. You just create them by day, and it'll add up for your month. And it keeps your track, your, your office on track for making their goals. It's very visible way of managing your practice's goals. Some providers don't want other people looking at their appointments. Um, maybe you're in a large group practice and you want to hold that confidential. And so uh, one of the neat new features of the program is you can lock people out of your unique view of appointments. To do that, we're going to go ahead and click on the resource button here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We'll go up to manage views and we'll go ahead and click on edit view. We'll put the view we want to edit. Uh, I think we're oh, we're going to edit this one, Resources. We'll click on Enable Security for this view. And we can say, you know what? I only want David to view that, or perhaps Julie. Uh, and so nobody else has access to that view. So if I have proper security rights, I can go ahead and enable my security for the views uh, where I and select the people I want to have access to viewing my appointments. Easy to set up, easy to use, keeps your appointments secure. Another thing with the HIPAA privacy laws that have come into place and regulations that we now have 
is that you can go ahead and uh, make the patients more private on their appointments. So when people are walking by and looking at, glancing at one of your monitors in your dental office, they don't know that Alexander Cherry is coming in for an appointment. In fact, they will know who that book corresponds to. Uh, to go ahead and make the appointment book a little bit more HIPAA friendly, if you will, uh, all you have to do is go up to File, go down progr to Program Preferences, go over to Schedule Settings, and we'll go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and hide the patient's name on the scheduler. When I do that, the program is going to go ahead and use the patient's chart, which is really almost impossible to discern. Your practice people, they might understand that that's Alexander Cherry's record, but uh, to layman, this is pretty HIPAA friendly. So there's a wonderful feature there to make your patient information on your appointment book much more private. Um, another thing you can do is you can block days. And so holidays or days that you aren't working um, keeps your front desk from making appointments on the wrong days. Um, you go ahead and easily and quickly block those out. Okay. So we're going to go on over here to Schedule Settings, and we'll click on Add a Day that we want to block where the office is closed. In this case, uh, we're not working on the 4th of July. We'll say our national holiday, right? Who works on the 4th of July? And we'll go ahead and say save and close our screen down. And so you'll note on our little, our little mini calendar here, uh, the 4th is grayed out. If you hover your mouse over the top of it, it will say national holiday. Um, if you click on it, it's going to go ahead and have that day all grayed out. Keep your front desk from making mistakes and scheduling appointments where they don't belong. Another appointment book pro feature that we have is the ability to specify um, which type of uh, clinical people are attending to a patient. And so let's go ahead and double click on Alexander Cherry's record here. And uh, perhaps uh, we're going to have our dental assistant see him for the first 30 minutes or so in the last 30 minutes while our doctor provider pops in during the middle. So if we want to show that, we can go ahead and click on the ones where we want to take off the provider, click on save, and now when you're glancing at the appointment, you're going to notice that this is just dental assistant time, and then we have dental assistant with provider until the end of the appointment. So, wonderful way to really specify who is seeing that patient uh, at what times. There are a lot of additional powerful features provided in the Appointment Book Pro. As you can see, it does, it does a lot more than the regular Appointment Book. It doesn't cost very much more uh, for the money. You're getting a big bang for the buck. So. I uh, hope that uh, you'll call your sales rep, and if you have any questions about this, they can provide a personal demonstration of some of these features.